everyone, welcome to Deco Art's Facebook Live. As you know, Deco Art is very well known for our arts and crafts paint. Uh, and I'm sure you did know that we have a DIY line. And this line happens to be very near and dear to my heart because we launched it the same year that I started here at Deco Art, and that's Americana Decor Chalky Finish. If you're familiar with our Americana acrylics, which I'm sure you are, you know it's a super matte finish. Our Americana Decor Chalky Finish is also an ultra matte finish, but it's thicker and richer, and it's perfect for updating old pieces of furniture. Uh, of course, this one is not done, but I did want to show you the before. <laughs> and to me, it is just super fun going out to thrift stores or flea markets, or even finding something around your house, something like this, and completely transforming it with just a little bit of paint. I am going to paint the top here so you can see how nice the coverage is and how rich and thick this paint is. Also, you can control the texture of the finish depending on what type of brush you use. I'm going to start with a really smooth Americana Decor 2 inch flat and saturating it just a bit, not too much. And I like that these jars have a wide mouth so you can just dip the brush right in. Oh, before I forget, guys, <laughs> leave a comment and you will be automatically entered to win three different colors of our full-size 8-ounce chalky finish. You can comment um, what you would like to update, whether it's a furniture piece or an accessory. I'm brushing this on, again, this is with a very smooth brush, and I very, very lightly saturated the bristles. So once that dries, it would be totally smooth. Now here, hopefully you can see it on camera, I did not go that route. I decided that I wanted a little bit of texture, so I used a chip brush. You can see how jagged the edge is there, and I'm not saturating it in water, going straight into the paint. And now, hopefully on camera, you could see a difference. You're gonna see a nice texture there. I also wanted to mention this piece is veneer, it's not real wood, and this paint covers and adheres very nicely. You don't have to sand it, but you could if you wanted, you know, an extra durable adherence. I also want to demo how I did this. This is a dry brush technique. And when I first started at Deco Art, which is again, the year that we came out with Chalky Finish, I remember I needed to do a dry brush uh, furniture piece and I was a little bit scared thinking, oh no, what if I mess it up? So I practiced at home and realized that there's nothing to be afraid of. Here, I feel like this is a little bit overdone, but of course it's, you know, it's personal preference, but I wanna show you how easy it is to correct a mistake if you've gone a little bit too far with your dry brushing. You simply take again a uh, chip brush and go in with the opposite color. So I'm going to go in with the everlasting, which is the white. And with dry brushing, what you want to do is dip your brush in and then you want to remove some of the paint. And you can see how I just softened that up. And again, there's no right or wrong. You can have a very contrasting dry brush effect or very soft and subtle like that. I also wanted to show you the difference between the dark over a light color and then a light color over a darker color. And this brush has very, very little paint on it, but you can see how pretty and how subtle that look is. Another thing that you may or may not know is our chalky finish works great on glass, but we do have chalky finish for glass as well, which is over here. 
The difference between the two is both of them cover great. Both of them look beautiful on glass. Both of them have the super ultra matte finish. The difference is with these, you could actually bake your glass piece and it will be dishwasher and hand wash uh, safe. For glass painting again, you can use a soft brush if you want it to look smooth, or you can use a texture brush if you want more texture, but I just want to show you how nicely it covers on glass. And remember, this would be for decorative purposes only. If you wanted it to be dishwasher safe, you would use the chalky finish for glass. But you know, I love this because you can create really pretty accessories to go with your furniture pieces. Another thing I wanted to show you is to use unexpected colors for dry brushing. For example, here you may think, you know, a green with a red might look a little bit holiday or Christmassy, but this is a very deep red and this green, which is called vintage, is very, very, you know, subdued. It's almost like a neutral. So sometimes you could use very unexpected colors for dry brushing and, and it just looks really, really pretty. If you can picture that on a furniture piece. And remember, don't be scared if you go too far. For example, here, if I feel like that dry brushing went too far with the vintage color, I would just go back with the red, which is called rouge, once it's dry, of course, and then go right over it. So if you're just tuning in, remember, just comment, what would you like to paint with the Americana De Decor chalky finish? and you'll be entered to win three full-size jars, different colors. The winner will be announced on Monday. So if you're watching us on replay, go ahead and comment, and good luck to you. Now we're gonna move on to, I think this piece looks really cute, but we're gonna take it a step further. I'm gonna add a really pretty retro French looking stencil. And you could either hold it down or you could use painter's tape. I'm just gonna sort of hold it in place. And what you wanna do is dip directly into the paint with the stencil brush. And that's way too much paint. You wanna go ahead and sort of dab some of it off. And come to your stencil, make sure you hold it steady. And you're just gonna go in a circular motion. These stencils came out several years ago, but to me, they're a classic. They will never go out of style, and they're my favorite, these old vintage French stencils. And this goes pretty fast, as you can see. You just wanna make sure to keep that stencil in place. And stencils can completely transform your piece and make a great impact on your furniture piece. <laughs> and you can see how fast this goes. The main thing to remember is to not have too much paint on your stencil brush. That way it will not seep through and you'll get a nice clean stencil. And we're just about done here. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Of course, that is a subtle look. And the reason is because, you know, I stenciled with the same color that I did uh, the dry brushing. On, of course. So I also want you to see some of the really pretty colors that we have in the Americana Decor Chalky Finish. It's available at several stores. Uh, I know Michaels carries it, Hobby Lobby, most of your major craft stores, um, Home Depot. We also have a bunch of projects on <laughs> decoart.com. Just type in Chalky Finish and you'll see furniture pieces, accessories, but think about other things that you may want to use it on. For example, 
maybe lamps, um, even books. I love to paint books with chalky finish. You know, you can pick up old books or maybe you have some at home um, at your local thrift store and just paint them in a really pretty chalky finish color and then put them on your furniture piece and it just makes a really cute accent or on your, on your bookcase. It's just a lot of fun and super easy to use. So I hope you guys like this video and learn something about dry brushing. And remember, don't be afraid to dry brush. If you make a mistake or go too far, just go back with the base color. And remember, leave a comment and share this video. You will be automatically entered to win three full-size jars of Americana Decor Chalky Finish in three different colors. Good luck, everyone, and see you next time on DecoArts Facebook Live. Bye.